Hi, this is Tom Reard, math teacher from Ohio. This is the first video on dilations in the transformational geometry unit. You should already have the PDF open and you already know what transformational geometry is. If not, please pause. There are four types of transformations. We should already have studied reflections, translations, rotations. We're looking at dilations. You can do the activities along with me if you have a TI Inspire software, handheld or iPad app. If you decide not to, you can do this activity with, along with the video. Play, investigate, explore, discover. That's what we want you to do with the math. Be prepared to pause and or rewind the video as needed. So the first question is, what is a dilation and what does it do? Here we have triangle ABC dilated by about point P with a scale factor of 2. Triangle ABC is the pre-image, the blue one. The red one is the image, and that is red triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So this is the dilations PDF number one. Recall that a conjecture is an opinion or conclusion based upon what is observed. So number one says, look at this screenshot and what do those four parts of the screen have in common? Please make two, at least two conjectures. Press pause and resume when you're ready. All right, let's look at the answers. Each part does have a pink point P. Each part has a red figure and a blue figure in it. Each part has a smaller figure and a larger figure. They have the same shape, but a different size, and we call those similar figures. We're now ready to play, investigate, explore, discover using TI-Inspire technology. If you're using TI-Inspire, you should have the dilations TNS file open. To advance, I'm going to click on the blue arrow. We've already seen this. And then this is where all of the work is going to take place. So let's go ahead and dilate triangle ABC about point P with a scale factor of 2. This is the dilation icon. And you'll notice that's too big, so I'm going to click on the minus sign here on the magnifying glass to zoom out. And just look at the two triangles. What are you noticing? What, what, are, what's, what seems to be equal, not equal, and so on? And as I grab point B, does your conjecture still seem to hold true? And point A, point C, the whole triangle I can grab. And Whoops, I grabbed the point this time. I wanted to grab the triangle. So looking at number two on the PDF, read it, answer it, and then please press pause while you're answering it, Press and then press to continue. <clears throat> For the answers, when a triangle is dilated about a point, the pre-image triangle in blue and the image triangle in red seem to have the same shape, but a different size. Corresponding angles appear to have the same measure. That is, the two triangles appear to be similar to each other. So far, we've investigated moving the point of dilation and changing the size, shape, and position of the pre-image triangle. Let's look at different scale factors and see if this holds true for other scale factors other than two. All right, I'm going to click on Reset. And now here's where I get to change the scale factor here. So I change the scale factor to three instead of two. I'll go ahead and dilate the triangle about point P, scale factor of three. So I need to zoom a few little bit here. And again, as I grab point A, point C, B, and so on, do my conjectures still to seem to be true? I'll change the scale factor to a half. So I'll click on a half. And let me pull point P out here. And notice that <clears throat> the uh, used to be that the pre-image was inside and the, and the uh, image was outside in, in this order here. But since the scale factor is a half, it seems to be a little bit different. So let's proceed to number four. We're going to dilate the triangle using a scale factor of 1.5. And we're going to 
put P, point P to coincide with vertex A. So let's do that. So I'll reset, scale factor to one and a half, dilate, zoom a little bit, and go ahead and move around. It says to put P coinciding with A. Hmm, that's different. A and A prime ended up on the same part. Let's look at these segments here. It's asking you about B C and B prime C prime. I'll put A on we'll point P on top of B. And I'll put P on top of C. And based on that, you should now be able to answer those questions. So go ahead and press pause as need and resume when needed. So what segments appear to be parallel? I think you I think you got it. For B, if we put point P to coincide with vertex V, which segments appear to be parallel? A C and A prime C prime. And part C, if you put on C, what would you expect to be the ones that are parallel? And A B and A prime B prime. Press pause as needed. And finally, let's look at number five on the PDF. Scale factor of negative one. Hmm. Go to the technology. All right, so let's go ahead and reset. Change the scale factor to negative one and dilate. And that is interesting. Hmm. Press pause as needed. So how would you describe the relationship? Well, the pre-image and the image triangles are the same size, the same shape, so they're congruent. This, con this occurs because of the one. And it appears that the pre-image is rotated 180 degrees about point P to, to, to obtain the image. And I think that's because of the negative sign. Press pause as needed, and this concludes video number one.